Hello and welcome to MapD Cloud. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the New York City taxi data set that comes preloaded with every instance of MapD Cloud. This sample data set includes more than 13 million taxi rides from the month of December in 2015. In the preloaded dashboard, we've included a few charts to get you started, including from left to right across the top, a map, a bar chart of payment types, and a heat map showing day of the week and time of day. All of these charts are connected, so by selecting one segment in one chart, it automatically cross-filters to show just those rides in all of the other charts. You can easily clear the filters using the icon in the upper left corner of each chart. If I click on just the disputed charges from the payment bar chart, we can see in the heat map that most of the disputed charges happen in the afternoon. I'm not sure I would have guessed that. Along the bottom of the dashboard are two more charts. First is the bar chart showing the trip distance. You can easily cross filter on this chart as well and move that filter range up and down the chart. And finally there's a line chart showing the number of rides for each day in the month. This chart has a range chart at the bottom that can be filtered. Now let's clear all of the existing filters using the clear filter tool in the top left of the dashboard. Then we can look at the map chart which is maybe my favorite chart. There is a circle filter tool in the upper left corner of the map chart that you can use to select just the rides in Brooklyn, for instance. Or, if you clear that filter, you can get a little more precise by using the lasso tool. I'm not perfect, but that's pretty close. In this case, we can do even better than close. The best way to filter on Brooklyn rides for this data set is to filter using the borough data that is in the table. To do that, let's create a new chart using the Add Chart button in the upper right corner of the dashboard. MapD Cloud comes with a nice selection of different charts you can add to any dashboard. In this case, I think I'll use a bubble chart, which means first selecting the drop-off borough as the dimension to match the map that I already have in my dashboard. Next, I'll choose the measures for each axis. Let's go with the average tip on the x-axis and the average distance on the y-axis. And I should make the bubble size relative to the number of records for each drop-off. One last little thing, let's get rid of the null values. Great to see those Staten Islanders traveling the furthest and tipping the most. All right, now we can click Apply and that chart will get added to the bottom of our dashboard. I can use the resize tool in the bottom right corner of the map chart to move it up a bit and make room for the new bubble chart beneath it. Now, when I select just the Brooklyn rides out of the bubble chart, I get a 100% accurate look at just Brooklyn. And I'm not stuck with Brooklyn. With a single click, I can add in all of Manhattan as well. Now let's use the X in the upper right corner of the bubble chart to remove that chart from the dashboard, and I'll show you one more strange thing I found in this taxi dataset. If I create a bar chart showing the number of passengers in each ride, you can see that there are some rides that have zero passengers. I assumed these were just ghosts riding around the Big Apple until I took a closer look at the data and saw that almost all of the zero passenger rides happen late on weekend nights. And I remember the time I left my wallet at a bar and had to go back at 2 a.m. to try and find it. I'm just guessing these 743 people were a lot smarter than me at getting their stuff back without having to run back and forth across town. Well, that's it for this demonstration of the Taxi Sample data set. If you have any problems or questions about MapD Cloud, please reach out to us at cloudsupport at mapd.com. And we'd love to hear your zero-passenger taxi story, too. Thanks.